Hey everyone, it's Pixel Tricks. Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today we welcome our final villager, Tavon Iyer. But before we do that, we're gonna have to go back in time and remember, dudes. Remember. remember, 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 remember. Oh, Anka moved out. The truth is, Pix. By the time you read this, I'll be on the train heading off to a new life in a new town. It was too painful to say goodbye in person. I'm sorry. And I hope you'll forgive me. Take care. From Anka. They're asleep. I messed up. No, yeah, I was busy all day. I didn't have time to record. I hope she's not super salty at me. I ended up farming enough bells where we were able to pay off our debt and upgrade our house. Yep, it's definitely an empty room. While CJ was still in town, I grinded so many fish. So we have enough to pay our current debt that we just got from our current upgrade. Day one, but now I'm broke again. Uh, 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 uh. Dear Anka, was this place really worth leaving Dorcas? Dear Chief, don't eat my sheep, please. Dear Eunice, watch out for Chief. Dear Fuchsia, <laughs> watch out for Eunice. <laughs> We're gonna have the most paranoid island of all time. Nice, she's finally awake. Yo. Nice place you have here. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Can you get off the toilet? Pix, I'm so happy to see you again. It's practically a reunion, my dear. I hope you remember our time at the campsite as fondly as I do. I suppose you must. See, now you invited me to move here. Anywho, this island's population has just gone up by one. Now, let's see Von Iyer is ready for a cat like moi. Yeah, to me, Anka is one of the coolest designed villagers. I always thought she was cool even back in the GameCube days when she had her own island. Okay, Anka, I'll give you some privacy. <laughs> I'll catch up with you later. Take care. Yeah, I thought this was cool. It's all canon. She moved out of Dorcas to move here to Von Iyer. Today is also a very important day, dudes, because it is Shari's birthday. Happy birthday. Pix, you came. Welcome to my rockin' birthday bash. I'm so stoked that you're here for my B-Day. I know how busy you are. You rock. Cheeky. I don't want to be rude, but you didn't bring me anything, did you? I certainly did. I got a present right here. Happy birthday. Wow, you got some real rapping talent. I'm gonna say to wreck this, but I've got to see what's in here. Wow, you got me a Nintendo Switch? That's wicked generous. Way to make a birthday memorable. You rock. That present rocks so hard. Thanks. Absolutely. Check out the smile on Shari's face. This birthday party is rocking. Gotta keep the energy going. Let's get this party loud. So that was Shari's birthday celebration, everyone. Fantastic. Bouncing out? It was awesome partying with you, and I love your present. Have a good one, Jari. Your house is two stories? Wow, that is so cool. Hey, can I do a concert on your roof? I promise I won't fall off this time. While you decide, here's a prezi. Not a bride. For you. Enjoy. Rooftop Superstar Penelope. Wow. Dude, it's huge. This is so cool. Check this out, man. Now I know what you're thinking, dudes. Pixel Tricks, you're the worst for missing Anka's welcoming to the island. Well, check this out, dudes. To make up for it, I got her Miss Flamingo. How can anyone be mad at me now? Hey, Daisy. Well, hello. Bow Wow. How are you? I try to be a good listener. You can talk to me anytime. Bow Wow. That would be really nice if Villager ever talked. Sup, Penelope? Morning, didn't think I'd run into you this early. How it goes? Doing pretty fab with racking up those nook miles, right? Good job. Working on my own point total. I want to use them to buy a recording studio. Oh, bow. Yeah, we have so many at this point. We have like 20,000. <laughs> Ridiculous amount. Rewalds. Nearly sprained my creativity. What do you think? What is it? You're not going to believe it. I made a cool windflower wreath. I was out jogging the other day and somewhere around the 53rd mile, inspiration just hit me. Or it could have been dehydration. 
Either way, check it out and stay hydrated. Building it was like a hard workout routine, and you know I'm all about sharing my routines. So what do you say you want to get built making yourself a cool windflower wreath? To heck yeah, Ruwald. Well, I could, or I could just give you this paper that I wrote the recipe on. I vote the paper. To so you're the best, Ruwald. As long as you can read my handwriting, you've got this. Ruwald's the best, dude. Oi. Welcome to Costa de la Hans. That's Spanish for Hans' crib. Cool. I heard through the cherry vine that you've been excavating a ton of fossils lately. Really? I always wonder what kind of designer clothes those ancient creatures like to wear. Got a sled right here, huh? Cool. <laughs> Glad to see you here. What's the latest? Say, I sure do like the timeless look of your doubt, Eve. Instead of overthinking things, you're gonna keep it simple. Nice, huh, Rumpf? What a place you have here, dude. You got stuff all over the walls. It looks like you're peddling stuff. Oh, hey. Oh, uh, hi, do you live here? I'm Flick. I'm kind of a bug buff, an insect enthusiast, an arthropod artiste. I love all bugs and their appendages. I've been traveling across the islands looking for my soul bug, the perfect inspiration for my art. I must capture every wiggling leg, each joint of the antenna. We're so lucky to live in their world. So if you find a bug, will you sell it to me? I can pay a little extra. No price is too high for my chitinous kindred. And that's any bug. Devotion with conditions isn't devotion at all. Oh, and if you're, um, interested in my art at all, let me know. My commissions are open. Yeah, okay, so this is Flick. He acts just like CJ, but with bugs. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to make nearly as much, uh, with bugs, and I don't have a lot of time to record today. Damn, dude, I didn't visit Sable yesterday. It's the worst. Hey, um, it's great that you're such a loyal customer and everything, but I've just got a ton of work to get through. Thanks for understanding. But Sable... Uh, like I said before, I appreciate the visit, but I'm just buried with work right now. But Sable... Mabes. Hey, Mabes. I've got a customer who needs help here. Of course, uh, whatever you need, I can help you out right over here. Dane. <laughs> Sable doesn't like me, dude. Oh my god, they actually have decent pants for once. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I would sit down at my golden casket to do my skincare regimen. Applying out my various products and performing each careful step is meditative for me. Just as you water a flower to maintain its beauty, so you must moisturize your skin. Hey, meow. Yeah, Anka's so funny, dude. What a character she is. <laughs> it's just it's just a pyramid <laughs> Golden dishes. What else do you need, right? Of course. All right, Anka, I guess I'll leave you to it. See you later I'm curious about this whole town writing theme dudes What's up Isabel? Good morning, how can I help you today? I would like to discuss let's talk island evaluations How excellent I'm so pleased that you've taken an interest in the image of our island. Well, allow me to explain how the task force, that's me, collects and analyzes the data of my reports. First, I conduct random polling around the island with residents, visitors, and tourists. Their feedback is then ranked using the well-known five-star system. The better the balance of natural beauty, development, and decor, the more stars the island receives. That means we need more residents and buildings, proper infrastructure, and a well-decorated natural setting. Easy enough, right? But if we can achieve that perfect balance and welcoming environment, our ranking is bound to rise. As it stands, we currently have a 3-star rating. We've built a solid reputation come up during many a water cooler chit-chat. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. Von Ironman. Hearing about how chill it is. I'd go if I had the chance. KS. Well, there you have it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I hallucinating or was that feedback signed by KS? Hmm? Yes, there it is. Very clear. KS. And the penmanship is quite striking if I do say so myself. Could it be? Can it be? It must be! 
That message is from the one and only KK Slider. What? I can't believe it. We finally achieved our goal of bringing our island to the attention of the KK Slider. Not only that, but he said he's looking for an excuse to visit. Then what are we waiting for? Yes, yes. Let's offer him the chance to hold a concert on our shores. Strike when the iron is hot, they say. Oh, how very exciting, dudes. You just have his number, huh, Tomnook? Ah, hello. Do I have the pleasure of speaking with Mr. K.K. Slider? Yes, yes. I'm with Nook, Inc., located on Von Iron. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed we do. We greatly appreciate your valuable feedback. That's actually why I'm calling. If you're truly interested in visiting Mr. Slider, we would be happy to host you in your musical stylings. Yes, quite. I see. Oh my, you mean... Thank you so much. Yes, I'll be sure to mail you all the details straight away. The entire island will be looking forward to it. Thank you again. Yes, yes. Talk to you soon. What do you say? What do you say? He'll do the concert. That's right, KK Slider is coming here. Amazing. Congratulations, sir. Tomorrow is the fishing journey, but he's checking his schedule to see if he's available the next day. Pix, can you believe it? We finally turned our goal into a reality. We'll spread the news of the concert via our island broadcast system. I do hope you'll be in attendance, Pix. You must simply hear KK play. Yes, yes, you must. Fantastic, so we did it. No way. Wow. So it looks like KK Slider is coming for a concert in Von Iyer. How very exciting. Alright you guys, well I hope you enjoyed. And I guess I will see you tomorrow for the fishing tournament. Cool. Okay, well I'll see you then dudes. Take care.